Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Web Form. Uh, today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of shopping cart. And uh, in this project, I am going to show you the business logic part of add product. Uh, uh, you can say the sh uh, C# file of uh, add product. So by using the uh, connection, you have to create communication between the SQL. Uh, server uh, with your application by business logic using code behind file so connection string is prepared and uh, just copy that connection string from the web.config file and paste it here now after that you have to use the sql command and the sql command is looking like that insert into product name product price uh, company id product uh, uh, description and image product image okay so that that is the basic thing you can do in your uh, uh, table that is insert into product that is the product table and these are the fields in the product table so after that you have to insert values in the product table uh, by using the controls like the text box and the browse button and radio buttons and the drop down list etc so the product name is uh, uh, picking from the text box control Product price also picked from the text box control. Company is picked from a drop down list. And the description uh, picked from uh, a text area. You can say the multi line text boxes. And image is picked from um, file upload control. Okay, so that is uh, pretty simple. So after that, you have to uh, create parameters in by using uh, commands. You have to use uh, connection property. Uh, to assign to the command so after that you have to create a, um, parameters uh, in the command so cmd so cmd dot parameters dot add with value and uh, in the add with value you have to use that uh, column name like product name product price with the verbatim literal so this is the simple thing you can do in your project to add anything in your database by using the parameters uh, so parameter is used where uh, you want to save your file uh, by using sql by using uh, sql injection attacks so must to use parameters instead of uh, uh, local things like the inverted comma and in the text box window text directly pass the values into the database table so uh, just protect your application by using uh, parameters okay so that thing that is the pretty simple thing you can uh, add into your project so the first parameter is the p name uh, with the verbatim literal and assign that p name into the uh, by using the text box name that is the product name uh, dot text i want to assign that text uh, in the p name similarly the p price the product price okay and the next is the company and a company I want to pick from a drop down list. So first of all, bind that drop down list in your page slot. If uh, not equals to page dot is passed back, then bind your list, uh, bind your drop down list. Okay, so product name dot text is assigned to the P name and P name is assigned to the product name. Similarly, P uh, product price dot text is assigned to the P price and the P price is assigned directly to the product price you can say and similarly company and the description so p description assigned to the product description so uh, first of all uh, that is the product description so just product description dot text okay that's a simple now the next thing is image P image and uh, here we have a file upload control there is product image and a drop down list is also there with the selected index change but I want to uh, I want to add some uh, company details uh, when your page load so just use 
not equals to page dot is passed back then bind drop down list and bind the drop down list with the sql connection class so similar thing you can add in the bind drop down list also sql command is also same sql command cmd equals to new sql command command text is use select and that is the equal queries select star from company that is sync cmd dot connection is con and uh, execute uh, sql data reader id equals to cmd dot execute reader okay and uh, the next thing is the uh, list name is the company actually dot on list name is the company so company dot data text field and you can say the data source property first of all assign after that you have to use company dot data text field and the data value field data text field is double quotation company name and the company dot data value field is company id and you can say id after that you have to bind your drop down list by using company dot data bind where your company is the id property of your drop down list after that must to close the connections okay so company is company dot selected item dot text okay so inside the company you have to use company dot selected item dot text and the image you want uh, also use file upload control so if if any other uh, any one file picked from computer so you have to use So uh, the image file path is string dot empty first of all, and after that use file upload control. So file and the file upload control ID property is product image. That is so product image dot has file. If uh, any file picked from computer that return true. So product image dot save as that image will be saved into the uh, local directory into your Visual Studio. So first of all, create a directory that is image. So just just image and the file name is also saved it. So product image dot file name. The name of the file. So after that image file dot image file path that is the default is empty after that you have to use product image dot file name now after that you use image file path so pretty simple you can do you can add it into your edit here if cmd dot execute none query is uh, written one then your data will be added into your database successfully otherwise it's not so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to shopping cart project and i have to design complete videos and after that i will show you the complete result of that videos so wait for some times for the result of the videos and uh, i will provide you better uh, videos for related to the shopping carts and also refinement is also there so first of all uh, text is empty and last have to add a label control to show the successful message on the label control so if result is greater than zero then result label lbl dot text is assigned save record successfully thank you guys for watching this